if you've ever visited a Simply Asia, you'll know that ordering in the traditional Thai language can get a little tongue-tied, which is why they have a very clever order by number system. So just for fun, we've compiled a few of the trickiest Thai dishes to pronounce and put together a little quiz for our other presenters, Ewan and Katlejo. And this is going to be made out of three categories and a possible tiebreaker. And to help us judge this is Simply Asia Chef Lucky from Simply Asia. Chef Lucky, so good to have you here. Good morning. <laughs> look at them. Look at how they're warming up. I don't know why they're going... <laughs> All right. There's been there's been a lot of like purring going on from cat side. I don't know what's that all about. Listen, okay. that's don't, more, don't it was very talk. It was very gentle. It was very I don't know, not very competitive. Don't smack talk. Okay, so guys, guys, okay, the competition hasn't even begun yet. Chef Luck, um, Chef Ooh. Lucky is the expert Ooh. when it comes Morning, to chef. Thai food. So category number one, you need to pronounce this dish right here. Once you've pronounced the name of the dish, Chef Lucky is going to <coughs> say who the winner is and will give us the proper pronunciation. Wow. Because okay. I think we might need it. Okay, so, cool. So who goes Katleko. first? Who goes You're going to go first. Okay, cool. All right. I'll take a stab and go, um, Q, T, O, Gyang, Q, Wan, Grap, Pao, Pesto. All right. Okay. Remember that, Chef Lucky. Remember that's okay. correct. Okay, Ewan, you next. Q, T, O, Gyang, Q, Wan, Grap, Pao, Pesto. All right, nice. Chef Lucky, who is the winner? This guy. Is what? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. And what's the pronunciation? Sorry. Good deal. Gang Chowan, guys. Kapo Pizzo. Oh, wow. okay. Okay. wonderful. Okay. That is okay. amazing. All right, I'll give it okay. to you. I'll give it to you. So, well done. Well done. Well done. So it would well seem done. that uh, Katleho is in the lead with one point. Now, in category number two, what you need to do is you match, you have to match hmm. the name of the dish okay. with the actual dish. Now, we have three dishes over here okay three dishes you can taste them if you want to okay but you've got to look at the name and then choose the correct one all right are you ready cat you are up first seeing as though you won the last category what is dish 276 which one is it okay wait, so you're asking me what is dish 276 yes. so i must look, look at, at the look name at the look at the Send name rat nam makan prikpao. um okay okay hold on give me that give me that um I'm gonna, I'm gonna, so this is two, six, seven. Yeah. I'm gonna take a you stab. Can taste. And I, uh, uh, no, can I wouldn't, it. that wouldn't help because I don't know what prick pow is. I'm gonna go with this one here. Okay, right, so you one, pick yeah. that one. Okay, this you like Which one pow. do you pick? Okay. That? It's the same one. We oh. always go for the same one. Um. Anytime today. I'm anytime go with today. This one okay, well. both of them are going with that one. And they are both correct. Oh, it yeah. is oh, wow. the right oh, wow. dish. Congratulations. Yes. All right. All right. All well right. done. Okay, so we're going to move that one back over there. Now, the third category, we are now 2 1. 2 yes. 1. Yes. Our third category, Chef Lucky, are you still in this? All right. You need to do a taste test, okay? Yes. Now, uh, Chambly Asia oh. uses the freshest ingredients in all of their dishes, okay? You need to pick out the spices the herbs and the condiments. Wow. I'm not gonna allow you to say the protein or the noodles <laughs> on. or the vegetables because that is too easy. So Kat, you are up first, okay? okay? You need to taste one of the dishes and tell me what are the ingredients. May I use the chopsticks? You may use the chop top okay. chopsticks. Here we go. All right, so obviously I got... I need the, the, three flavorings so from you. Can you go with three. any dish or...? Any dish, is I it? just need three flavorings from you. Okay, uh, there's an acidity of... Um, I think there's lemon in there. There's lemon in there. Okay. Uh, am I supposed to be getting a nod Chef or not? Chef Lucky okay. will tell you. You've Three chosen flavors. lemon. You've chosen lemon. Okay. Mm. There's, a, there's a hotness to it. So some chili uh, powder, uh, curry powder. Okay, in, so in the lemon line of and that. chili. Can I go in to the, another No, dish? you picked this one, so you have to stay. Stay with that okay, one. Okay, so I've got to stay with this one. And then lastly... Ooh, there's an there's a, there's a, there's a oiliness to it. A soy sauce. Okay, wonderful. So it's lemon. Chili and then soy sauce, and this is the gra prao. Is not yes. No, no, not that. No? No, okay, I didn't say oh, it right. No. It's a good thing I'm not in this one. Okay, so <laughs> Chef Lucky, which of the three did he get right? Is it lemon, chili, and what did you say? Soy sauce in there? Yes. Only chili on this. Oh, only okay. chili on okay. there. Sorry, ah. cat. Okay, cool. You and you're okay. Up next. I'm gonna go with this one. All right, let's mm. let's have a taste here. That's a difficult one that you can't. It is say a really difficult protein, one. Right, you know. Ooh. There's some kind of a, a chili paste vibe. Okay. Go on here. Chili in there, right. yeah. You chili can't say chili paste vibe. Vibe does not qualify chili. as a flavor. Chili. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Vibe. <laughs> hmm. Chew with your mouth closed. 
Hey, hey, hey. This is <laughs> wow, this stuff. is taking a really long time. Let's keep it moving, guys. Let's keep it moving. Mm. There's some, some, some oyster sauce Okay. Here. Some chili, some oyster sauce. Chili, some oyster sauce. You just need to get two more, one more right than Kat did, and you will be tied with him. Oh, this is a difficult one. I really, I really picked a difficult you one. You did pick a difficult one. I do. I will need ear. This all they do. Okay, here we go. I need an answer from you, Ewan. I'm gonna go with some, some, some fish sauce. Okay, some fish. Uh, How some... many did he get right, Chef Lucky? No, G. Oh <laughs> my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I'm to trying to some. help you out there. It's okay. Okay, it's you know okay. what? Because this is a family show, <laughs> and we believe that we can all be winners. I'm gonna add a Thai, Thai breaker in what here. Do you even? Just what? because I can. Just because I can. The person to pronounce this word. Bami Big Bahu. Okay. Bami Big Bahu. Bami Big Bahu. Bami Big Bahu. The one to pronounce this word will be the ultimate winner. Can okay, you go? Go, go cat. Bami Big Bahu. Okay, you win. Bami Big Bahu. Which one is right? Ilay. Oh! I'm sorry, there's something going on in this it's kitchen. Unbelievable. There's something going on in this kitchen. Oh my goodness. There's something going on. I'm sorry. Okay. Chef Lucky. That's not fair, man. You are the <laughs> ultimate winner. Of course, we've got a fantastic competition. Simply Asia is giving away 20 meal vouchers to the value of 100 rand each. To enter, you have to like the Simply Asia's Facebook page and look at the posted image with the dish number. Then let us know what the proper Thai dish name for the number is by either commenting or posting uh, your answer on Simply Asia's wall as well. So good luck. Hopefully, you will then uh, win that. But the nice thing is that every dish has a number, so you don't actually have to pronounce Announce them like that. That's the wonderful thing that Simply Asia has done. Because I just asked, I just asked for the 514 in any way. All you have to do is just enjoy like a champion. <laughs> we'll take a quick ad break. I'm gonna get into some of this. Oh my Let word. It go. Let it go. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso, only on SABC3. Man, I'm still a little bit shaken as to what happened before the break. I must say congr congratulations, Kat. You are... You know, boy. You know You know, I'll try to be nice. You know. I, go sit down. Go sit down. I try to be nice. You see what I'm saying? I try to be nice, but it's definitely not working. Kat, we're not friends anymore. Done. Anyways, so, all right. We're cooking some true, authentic Thai in the kitchen. We have Chef Lucky back with us, and also Claire, our espresso chef and food stylist. So we're making Thai pad cha. Good morning, guys. So what do you have? So what do you have, Chef Lucky? What do you have? So what do you have? So what do you have? Ah, so I like it. So Thai yeah. pad cha. Exactly. Take us through this dish. I mean, I can see some seriously fresh ingredients. Oh, lots of delicious fresh ingredients, and it really is a beautiful, authentic Thai dish. That's it. That's you know, it. We got some ginger. We got some galangal. We got some lemongrass. Lemongrass is. It is like a winner. Tough, it is a true, you know? true winner. You exactly. Just, you just have to have it in dish. I mean, you can smell it already. It just smells delicious. Indeed. What is Chef Lucky busy doing there at the moment? Okay, so what Chef Lucky here is busy doing is just stir frying the beef. We've got the green pepper, we've got some garlic, we're popping oh, in some wow. of the stir fry sauce. Just a hot, hot, hot wok. Yes. Get it all in there, yeah. bang it in, pop it into your bowl, and you've just got a fresh stir fry. I'm Can just going to help him chop up some of these beans a little bit. So, so while you're chopping up, I mean, he's using a, a wok. I mean, what if you don't have a wok? Can you still make this authentic Thai dish with, without a wok? Absolutely. You can use a frying pan, but I mean, obviously, okay. if, you, if you're going to start creating Asian dishes, yeah. You really want to invest in a wok because That's it just it. concentrates all that heat into the middle of the pan and you get a nice high, high, even heat. Perfect. And then it just cooks it beautifully. All right. Well, yeah. that is really, really looking good. Now, if you want to try your hand at making your very own Thai pad cha at home, all you need to do is SM is the keyword simply Asia to 33728. That's simply Asia to 33728. We'll send you a shopping list and we'll also add a link to the recipe that you can go follow. And man, the smells coming out of our espresso kitchen this morning is just incredible. And we've got things like um, gulangal in here, which is quite different for like your everyday yeah. South African. If you can't find it, you can and use ginger. They're from the same family. They're slightly different. Gulangol is yeah. a little bit more potent and almost has like a citrus scent to yeah. it. But you can use ginger if you can't find it. Most Asian stores will have some sort of pickled version or okay. a dried version, but obviously fresh is yes. always better. Fresh is always better. Yeah. But I remember cooking with Galangal in Thailand and it's yeah. really got a unique flavor. Very, very nice. So Absolutely. try find it if you can. All right. So is that it? We're done. Perfect. Is that it? Yeah. Very, very quickly. It happened quickly. without us even knowing. That's a great thing. Not only flavorful, but really, really quickly as well. You don't have to spend hours in the kitchen. But if you want to see one more time how we made our delicious, true, authentic Thai pacha, here we go. Heat oil, add garlic, chili, and lemongrass. Add galangal and ginger and saute. Add beef and stir-fry until browned. Add onion, green peppers, and beans. 
Add fish sauce, stir fry sauce and sugar, then cook for a minute. Add lime leaves and basil, then sprinkle with coriander to serve. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. You can also SMS the keywords Simply Asia to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Just click on the link provided to view the recipe on our Mobi site. SMS cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs and T's and C's do apply. And there you have it, Simply Asia to 33728. SMS that and we'll send you all the details as to how you can get your hands on the recipe for our beautiful Thai dish this morning, Thai pad cha. So I'm Claire. just popping over a little bit of coriander just to make it beautiful and just add that oh. extra aromatic fragrance coming out of and the dish. it looks delicious. And I think you and Chef Lucky, needs to taste thank it. you very much. Kabun <laughs> thank you very much. So I'm going to taste this. I'm still a little bit shaken from uh, the fact that I lost our little Thai tongue twister this morning. But you know what, yeah. Kat? I might have lost the battle, but I've won the war because I've got this beautiful dish. I'm not sharing. Ugh. At Simply Asia, we use only the most talented Thai chefs to prepare your meals, and things can get a little heated in our kitchens. Simply Asia, authentic Thai, made simple.